Wow, my face looks so white, but I woke up not too long ago. It's like nine something. I have a cold, so my voice, I may sound a bit nasal. That's that, but I'm trying to make my very first frontal wig. I got someone to make a frontal wig for me. Unfortunately, she fell ill and I needed it like very urgently, so I have to make it myself. Because every other person is saying that it will take about five days, seven days to make it. And I don't want to wait seven or five days. Like I've made a bunch of wigs, but they're all like closures. <laughs> I got a styrofoam mannequin head, and I've started. You know, I've started something. Let me show you. This is this is. I started like last night. You can't really see, but see, that's the net. I've sewn on the front, and so like the whole lace has gone all the way to the front. And I've started sewing on the, the bundles. This is like half a bundle. And I have this much space in the middle. I'm going to do that for a bit. Then I'll probably do my laundry. And I have to be at work. I think I'll just get to work later today. Because it's a Sunday. And um, I have to you know, do domestic stuff before I leave for work. And um, hopefully I get some drugs. I got some medication for this cold because I don't know where it's coming from. Do you know the funny thing? When I get a cold, I feel like I sound a little sexy because my voice is like a bit husky. And so I, I, I think I sound a lot sexy. So I, I would like to keep the, the husky voice, but not the nose. Anyway, alright, so first of all, I have this uh, thread and needle. I have this curved needle I got a while ago. It's very good for sewing wigs then I have these clips that hold the hair in place you know when I don't want anything covering my tracks or whatever then of course I have my bundles I really like how these ones look like really lush <laughs> can't wait to see how they come out then I have this scissors I had to get this because I see everybody cutting their lace with a tiny scissors I'm like mm, let me also get one maybe that's the secret <laughs> finally I have these pins that hold the wig in place so like this and i'm going to sew on the remainder of the bundles all the way up and yep see how it goes the next day Alright, so this is what um, my wig looks like. It's probably is a bit dark in here, but let's take it as it is. I have tried to curl it, but obviously, I don't want tight curls, by the way. But this is not what I was going for. <laughs> Hopefully, it comes out right. But this is what it looks like. I tried to use a hot comb to, you know, smooth this part out. I think it looks okay. So I'm going to do my makeup, put it on. And cut off the lace and see what it looks like. So, um, fingers crossed. Hold on, do you see what I mean? Alright, so guess 
guess who is back from work I have been wanting to have a talk like since Sunday and so I came back home a little early from work and I'm about to make some really delicious etto plantain etto and I'm going to show you how I make my very own etto nothing special just really um, yummy delicious recipe so yeah let me show you so for the otto you need um ripe plantain i like ripe plantain i like the ripe plantain one not the green plantain or yam and then i have some roasted granite and i also like um some granite paste to keep it um soft or smooth or whatever and then some onions pepper and and then some momone focus 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 wow okay and then some more money and um some pear that's like one of the last things i'll be using and then some palm oil Alright, so cut out my plantain. I'm going to um, boil it. Alright, so I don't like it when it's like overcooked. Ooh. <laughs> I knew I had left something out when I put the, the plantain on fire. I, you know, almost finished and I realized that I didn't have egg. Egg, there's no egg in my food. So I put my egg to boil and I'm sweating. I'm watching this show, Lucifer. 
as you would have guessed because I'm obsessed I think I'm on like season five so I can't wait to finish it and just move on with my life I'm one of those people that once I start a series and I'm hooked I can't do anything I mean of course I can still go ahead and live my life but every free time I get I want to finish it and that's what it has been these past few weeks so I'm definitely happy to be finishing it uh, I don't know how season 5 ends I hope it doesn't like leave me in a weird place you know how series just like leave you annoyed or something like that I hope it doesn't do that but yeah uh, that's what I'm doing I'm also cleaning up while I wait for my egg to boil so that when I'm done eating like I'm done down and I can just relax and just let the food go in so I'm eating so I'm still eating carbs and sugars which is counterproductive so I'm trying to stop that for this new week but yeah I still can't exercise as much because because of the times you know I'm at work and all of that so I can't exercise as much and uh, I can't go to the gym I'm very hungry today I thought I actually want to fast till six o'clock today but I don't know if that's what is that's going to be possible because I'm hungry yeah, I think maybe if I get like um, involved in my work, I'll probably not feel the hang up hands as much. But um, I'll keep you updated. And I'm really praying that I close early today so that I can get this new color changed. And uh, maybe get some rest as well. So, yeah.